folks, it's Brian. I had somebody ask if I could do an unboxing on the new RuneQuest starter set that I got at Gen Con. So, this is it. Um, Vector already opened it, obviously, so there's no saran wrap to take off. But, a couple of things. This is a sturdy, sturdy box. I was really impressed. And, oh, look who I ran into on the way home at the airport. Ta-da! Okay, what's in here? A list of what's in the box. Uh, there's four. Four booklets, right? Oop, sorry about that. I've got one camera off on the side. I don't have one above my head to do this, you know, whatever the way everybody else does. It's the first time I'm doing this. So we got book one, the rules. Again, nice solid. Lots of pages. Again, art, all the good kinds of stuff. This came in very handy for me at Gen Con because I forgot to bring my RuneQuest book with me. And they've got uh, all of the rune and a short version of all the spirit magic spells in here so I could use that as a reference. They've got other stuff in here like combat and all the standard things you would need for a quick start uh, kind of thing. The only thing that was missing that I could have used is something about grappling. Okay, uh, book two, the world. Again, lots of art, maps. Uh, this is all centered around um, What's the city called? I should have prepped this up. Johnstown, there we go. <laughs> it's all set around Johnstown. So you get a map of the city, uh, some stuff inside, some of the area maps, uh, Dragon Pass, and of course some of the world pieces that you would expect to find. Now the solo quest, I have not looked through this yet, um, but there is a solo quest, right? Great little scenario, lots of, a lot more art, holy cow, I'm going to have to get this PDF soon. Uh, book 4, Adventures, again, I have not actually looked through this either. Um, I'm not even sure how many there are. Let's see if I can read this upside down, look at this. Uh, Rogue Lightning, Fire in the Darkness, The Rainbow Mounds. And further adventures. Again, maps. Ooh, Rainbow Mounds. A new Rainbow Mounds map. Stat blocks that you expect. All the good stuff. Some chaos creatures, looks like. And all this should be from around um, the Johnstown area. The new character sheet portfolios. I have not looked at these either. I pulled up the uh, Solara one because in some of the games we were running, Solara is a sorcerer and there aren't any sorcery spells written anywhere, so I grabbed this to get the explanation of her spells that are in there. And we've got everybody else from the uh, RQG book. I'll start. Okay, some of the stuff inside, and you've probably seen these already. These, these are getting all over the place. You got the stats, you got skills and passions, you got spell stuff, runes, a little bit about you, and again, the picture. Okay, Rook Shadow Cat. This must be the new ones. This one doesn't have a name. This is Arandra of Nochet 2. Oh! Rook is the name of the shadow cat. Now I'm catching it. Now I feel stupid. Rook, who is the shadow cat? So this has got to be Nathan, right? Yeah, this is Nathan. Okay, there we go. So new ones. Arandra of Nochet. One. Dazarim Crescent Blade. Two. Ayanara, Granddaughter of Theralda. Three, Mago the Fierce, son of Bar Barosaurus, Bar Barosus, Barosus, son of Barosus, there we go, that what, four, Maricori, Megarios, son of Tharasa, at five, Nares Rune Painter, Six. 
And Varicose Wolf Killer, seven. So there's seven new pre pregens. And then, well, two. Two blank ones for you to do yourself. And then the map of Northern Sartar. This is a gorgeous map. Oh, it is the big one. Nope, oh, there's two of them. Okay, bring them out as well. They had a blow up of this at Gen Con. That filled up. Ah. An entire six foot round table on nice material but this is a good solid map too this is some good good paper uh, inside the rainbow mounds don't want to show too much of that spoilers it's on their side their side should be oh more rainbow mounds oh one without markings one with markings. So the opposite of this one, which I didn't show, but I should have, should be Johnstown. Yep, there we go. Johnstown, a full, large scale. So this is about 18 by 24, if I had to guess. Well, it's 11, so almost 22. And that's 7, 7 is 14. So less than, just less than 14 by 22. Another few little cutouts, cutouts printouts of things that we have in the GM's guide. Quick reference stuff. And then a strike rank tracker, another one. Ooh, and this is nice hard stuff. That is nice and solid. Holy cow, that's great. Okay, so there's a little quick on what's inside the starter set, RuQuest starter set. Not the Sartar campaign one, which is coming. Happy gaming.